Have you ever made a model only to add openings and not really see the architectural features in them? That's a real problem because the windows have an opportunity to create such architectural features. That's what we're talking about today. Hey guys, I'm Brandon with I Am The Studio and today we'll be looking at making an architectural design using SketchUp. Essentially, we always are going to be making some sort of model, something quick, and finding ourselves in a place where, hey, how can I present this? In this tutorial, we'll look at how to work on the layout, make sure there is good proportion and balance with the architecture, and we'll also add things like trim and different detailing so that these will all work together as part of the architectural language. This is part two of an architectural details and SketchUp series, so go ahead and check the description for links to the other parts of this series. If you like this content, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the IM Studio channel uh, for more great content and excellent materials for architects and designers in the latest software. So the next thing is for sure working on how this house entrance is before even adding something like you know a little roof or portico or any columns. I just want to make sure that this actually makes sense. These little tiny windows uh, might be fine for an attic, but they're not really fine for like, the front of a building. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change these. And because I'm made a um, you know a component, I'm going to just go ahead and make this a unique component. I'm going to expand it because as I show the rest of the model, you want to have something that has a little bit of weight. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the object. And I'm going to just start changing little by little. I'm coming out uh, 0.2 meters, 0.2 meters. Take this down, 0.4 meters. Now you're starting to see it like it'll have like a little more weight. And same thing here, 0.2. Point 0.2 and the building will have to be changed after 0.4 that opening for the window and so we're gonna come out but even already we're starting to see that it has a better compositional effect um, and we're gonna come into the building and just uh, hide the rest of the model just really simply do that 0.2 Point two. If I could do it at the same time, point four, point two, point two. And we're also going to make sure we go ahead and delete the old one after copying the new one in. And so I'm going to copy this using that base point. And now as I'm adding, I will go in here and make sure to enlarge things as I need. I do want to make sure nothing else is selected except for this one. And now I'll go, just expanding that to that boundary. And even this is also, of course, a different size to that window. So what I tend on doing is to just keep it simple here, put that in the midpoint. What I'll do with this little glass for the middle so it's not conflicting too much is I'm going to come here and uh, over three. I just I copied it and I put slash three so I can array that. You essentially, if you haven't done that in SketchUp, it's just move an object, make sure you're pressing control, and when you click that final point, look in the bottom right, you'll see a dash. It says distance dash, and I put three. So just divide that. And that would for sure be something I want to make a little Frank Lloyd Wright effect, but I, I'll leave it here for now. I'll just keep it simple. Okay, and so even now you're starting to see a better 
uh, bit of composition, I'm going to look at it in parallel projection. So, you know, the idea is the bottom is heavier than the top, so you just like weight going on. I'll even add this to my views uh, so that I can uh, easily see. I can easily see um, what's happening with my building. All right, so the next thing is to actually also just add a really simple little effect of a <coughs> roof vent that adds a little character to the, the architecture here. And the roof vent would be something like a point from the middle to of, the, of that. It's really sort of simplifying it because uh, I would have sure had a barge rafter here. And we're actually going to add that as well. And we'll just add a little piece of trim because that's just going to be a simple thing to add that will make a big difference. Um, okay, but anyway, I have this now added. What I'm going to do is um, come out and make a very thin something, maybe 0 0.1 meters. And I'm just sizing it up right now. And this 0 0.3, 0 0.6, I think so. Probably be some, needs to be a little bit thinner than this, and maybe even a little taller. So, but I'm gonna let's start right here. I'll make this into a group, and so you're looking in that front scene. See so yeah, this little differentiator. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just center it up a little bit, and now I'm gonna go in here. Make sure that I'm on regular picking mode. And uh, and we're just going to come out a little bit. And I'm gonna use a similar trim color. And I'm going to break this out of the wall. And so what we do with this wall, make sure that we get all the way down in, come back, and we're adding that rectangle. And we're just going to pull in. And what this is going to be now, and this inside, will be a little darker trim. So. And then come in here, delete that material. So we now have this little little effect. And I've also gone to the liberty of making a little trim for the windows. So this is definitely adding that detail effect to a model. I'm going to import these in. Um, <coughs> we see if uh, our object is here. Uh, and come back out. And I've actually made um, a window trim. And I'm just going to just basic locate it and then find out where it needs to be. And so this one is here. And so I just need to make sure that it's 0.1. So I just located that. I remember the dimension. Uh, essentially, it's something to add a little definition to the window. And it's working nicely. I'm adding that to all my front windows. And what I do here is I'm going to make this unique. This one I will come in. Copy this. And 
and you would of course also start to find ways to put this onto this other side. Make this another unique trim. These windows are different size. So you might, in practice, make them the same if you're working on the interior and everything. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And when you add that, you will have a complete set of window trim on all the windows. Uh, just a basic one for now. Thanks for joining me. This has been Brandon with I'm Studio. I love helping people with their software, with their design elements. If you like this video, go ahead, like it, and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell for notifications. For part three of this architecture and SketchUp series, see the link in the description below where you can learn how to work on architectural details for the roof, including brackets and rafters. And if you need help with any of your SketchUp projects, uh, look in the links below for a description to my complete SketchUp guide course. I also have several other courses in design and software that you might be interested in. So go ahead, check those out, and I'll see you in the next episode.